So you're about to see a review on this baby. Part of the review I did the first day I got it. And then I decided to use it for over a week to wash in the dishwasher even if it wasn't dirty every time I turn the dishwasher on. So it has been in the dishwasher over 10 times to see how it would stand up in the wash because a lot of things that you can put in the dishwasher and the paint peels off, it smudges, it scratches, but I can tell you right now, it has held up 100%. There's no difference today than it was the day I pulled it out of the box. Now I'm going to give my honest review um, after using it for, like I said, over a week, more like 10 days. I'm gonna give my honest review on do I like it? What would I use it for? And this is my opinion. So just remember, everyone has a difference of opinion. Okay, so I'm just gonna film this part right now and then I'm gonna use it for about 24 hours so I can do a real review. Um, this company has sent me, I don't wanna butcher their name, I think it's Tekken, has sent me a mug to try, completely free to my P.O. box. It is a thermal vacuum mug. I have not opened it yet. It is 11 ounces capacity. So I would use this mug probably when I'm doing black coffee, which I've been thinking about doing again. So I want to see how long does it really stay hot, right? How long would this mug really stay hot? Because we all know I give the honest review of products whether they're sent to me or I buy them myself. So it's very pretty. They did let me pick my color. They come in black, silver, and white. I wanted the white. Um, it is 18%. Let me make sure. I don't want to say it wrong. I just saw it on here. 18 by 8 with stainless steel. I think it has some plastic. That's probably what that means. Inner layer of the vacuum blader 18 slash 8 stainless steel outer city vacuum layer 18 slash 8 stainless steel with a sill silicone sill so what do i think about first off i think it's a very pretty white it has the rubber thing on the bottom which i do like i love the grip of the handle um it's kind of feels a little um Plastically, it might just be the coating it has. I love this flat lid. I could put stuff on top of it. Um, it does have a nice little vacuum seal when you pull it off. Um, the only thing is, I will say straight off the bat, is I would prefer a lid that I could drink from as well, though. But we're going to give it a shot. Um, we're going to see how long this bad boy can keep things hot. And I'm not going to try it with coffee. I'm going to bowl some chicken broth and make it really really hot and stick it in here and we're going to actually use a thermometer and see how long it takes to cool down when the lid is on it but in overall i love the weight of the cup and the fill of the cup and like i said the look is pretty because i'm very picky about white cups um and this one they did a good job on the white texture so next up we're going to bowl some chicken broth well, my honest opinion on this coffee cup. I like my coffee steaming hot. And 90% of the time, it takes me multiple hours to drink my coffee. I like to make 10 ounces of coffee. Not 10, 20 ounces of coffee at a time. I have 10 in this one. So what do I think about it? For when I just want a 10 ounce coffee and I'm actually gonna drink it all at once because I'm starving, like right now, um, it is perfect for that situation. I cannot leave it. Um, I cannot leave the lid on the counter because I have animals, but most people probably don't have animals. Um, so it's fine, right? The lid's fine. I wish it came with two lids, one where I could drink out of it, and then that one, 
but I will be honest, I will 90%, like I will use it like I am right this minute, which is a few days a week that I drink coffee like this, or if I drink black coffee, because I cannot stand to drink black coffee through a lid. So this is perfect for me when I drink black coffee. Um, it is perfect, perfect for my bouillon cube, water stuff, or if you have soups, or um, even the keto chow soup light things, it keeps the temperature like when you put it in there like i showed you at 200 it takes three hours to get to a temperature i could even eat without burning myself because there are a lot of days that i have time at a certain time to warm up that stuff and then i just don't have time so then i don't end up eating or drinking the broth like i would have wanted but if i could have made them three hours earlier and left the lid on it bam so I do like it because I have nothing like it at all. I like that it doesn't scratch. It holds up in the dishwasher 100%. Um, I like that it's unique with the lid. Um, like I said, I just wish they either had a normal lid with it or sold one for a couple of dollars or something that you could purchase as well. Um, but I've been wanting a good chicken broth. And... Um, Savory, because I do the savory chicken keto chow, I've been wanting a good cup for that that I could literally make it way ahead of time and just leave it on the stove with a lid for a couple of hours. I know that sounds weird, but my life gets hectic and crazy. Um, no, I could not put it in a lunchbox or anything. This does not screw on. It is a little pressure that keeps it on. Um, but I do like that aspect of it like a whole lot. So I will be using this for black coffee coffee like this which i normally do about two or three times a week um it's just when i spread my coffee out more instead of all at once and then it's usually when i'm hungry right i have a horrible headache today too like i didn't i didn't and then i got one and all my chicken broths and stuff so do i think it's worth the money for me yes because like i said i didn't have anything anything like it and it's going to be perfect for what i want to use it on so uh, down in my description area you will see a link to it and a 10 percent off um code there if you want to get one yourself um like i said they just sent it to me for free they're not paying me i told them i would give a honest 100 percent opinion it does hold the heat well with the lid on it um I am just a very picky person, so what I'm gonna use it for might be different than what you want it for. But what I'm gonna use it for is going to be working perfect. Do you still see it still steaming? You can still see all that steam? I don't know if y'all can, but it is still pouring steam out. It's because the inside's metal. And we all know, I love my metal cups. All day long, I'm actually looking to buy the metal drinking cups, like the cute little ones. So, I am not disappointed in it at all, and I, I would probably, with I never even heard of them, but if I had seen it, I would have totally purchased it for the reasons, like I said. Um, you don't always have to use a coffee cup for coffee, and it's probably a great tea cup, too. I just don't drink tea, because think about, it, if the water's not hot, you put a little tea bag in there, you put the lid on it, you can come back later and make that, that tea could be as strong as you want, you could let sit for hours and it would hold its heat like if you're a hot tea drinker which i'm not but and you could make hot chocolate early too like fresh hot chocolate so yeah i say it's totally worth the money it's not really expensive at all in my opinion today in this world everything seems to be crazy expensive i mean chicken breasts if I don't get it at all these, the chicken breast is $5.99 to $8.99 a pound. Okay, so that's how I compare my items now. Like a coffee cup, a dress, everything. I'm like, wow, that's really cheap compared to the food. That's how, and, and that also decides what I eat is the prices now. This... We're not just gonna eat it and it's not gonna be there no more. We're gonna have it for years. 
because I've never put anything through a dishwasher that many times that held up. I put it through the wringer. I've dropped it. The cats have scratched it and it didn't scratch. Um, like, I kind of threw it on purpose to see if it would dead easily. I know it sounds crazy, but I want to give an honest opinion if I think it's a very durable cup. I am so tired of paint coming off and you can't even tell like there's no dent no scratch no nothing so yeah I should have took a video of me throwing it and how it was fine afterwards if I ever do more reviews I mean there are things you can't do that with like glass and stuff but if I do more reviews um, of other things in the future I plan on doing some fun ones like you see on these drop tests and stuff with the phones but if you're looking for something like this with a, a flat lid, check this out. Okay, so let's do this. It is 313. So I wouldn't need to keep it extremely hot very long. This is so hot there's no way I could ever drink it. I just want to see how long it takes for the temperatures to go down. Let me get all the way to what it says. I think we're at 200 y'all. I never bowl it that long. Like, I only did for like a few minutes, but I lost track. Let's get the full temperature. Okay, nope, we're not done yet. Think we're there. 198. 198. And it is 313 exactly. We're going to put our little magic lid on. Hopefully I did not put too much in there. That's why we are over the stove in case I overfilled it. Nope, did not overfill it. All right. We're going to come back in an hour. Let me get away from that. I'm already tearing it up because it's hot over there. We're going to come back in an hour. Wow. This isn't even the part of the stove that cooks. And I literally melted off the bottom. That's great. This part of the stove, well, I guess that is a little hot, yeah. I only thought the eye, I've never put anything on it. It's okay, it didn't damage it. I've never um, put anything near the eye or touched it until just now, but I guess it's hot all the way out here. Oh, we saw it was just inside the ring, people. At least my old stove was that way. Believe it or not, this is a very clean stove I clean a billion times, but this is why I don't like glass stoves. You literally got to polish it all day long, smudges, it's just... I hate glass stoves for the looks. All right, let's come back in an hour. Right now, the lid is feeling very, very hot, and I did not damage the bottom. Normally, you would have damaged the bottom. Okay, we'll come back. Okay, so I've been cooking. Try to move it up. Off the stove is covered in food right now. So let's do temperature again. This is hour two. I normally drink them around 125 or less. Okay, we aren't still going. Don't worry, I'm not doing this for hours on end. The longest I would probably sit it is like two or three hours. I'm just going by what I would like. If I wanted to make it earlier in the day and sit it to the side, we're at 144. So technically if I left the lid off, I could drink it of course, but I wanna see how long it will stay. So I'll see y'all in an hour. Okay, it's been another hour. This will be the last one I do. Okay, because I want to drink it. Let me get this turned on. Okay. 
So you know this size, everyone would drink it fast, whether it's cold or hot. So it really doesn't matter how long it actually keeps it hot or cold because this size we're all chugging it, right? So three hours later, it's almost perfect temperature for me to drink, which I'm going to go ahead and drink it. This is well, like around 125 and it's 126. So let me turn this off and give me a second. Use the lid when I'm walking with my coffee because I don't want it to spill. The only problem is when I put a lid down, I have cats. That becomes an issue. I did have to walk away just now for my video. Um, I'm doing the video of my cooking right now. Yeah, everything's messy. And I did stick the lid back on it to keep it hot and to keep the cats out of it. So the lid is a win on that part. <laughs> and most of y'all are not going to have to worry about cats wanting to lick your lids. Right now they're all sleeping, so I have no problems. Um, but the only issue is it is a little messy for me because... See, now it's got coffee all over it. And then I have to make sure, I mean, if you put it flat down, it's not going to drip anywhere, but I'm a messy person. But this works for what I said for me. But y'all probably aren't messy like I am. Okay, one last thing. I got distracted. It is two hours later. I had the lid on this. Crap, I really wish y'all could see it. It is smoking still, two hours later. <sighs> Let me see if we go in the light. See, can you see the smoke now? Barely. Can y'all can y'all see that? Maybe if we get closer to the light. Who knows? Who knows? But it is literally still smoking. So there we go. At least I can see it through the camera. I got distracted. That's what happens. That's why I light the cups where I have the little drinky thing on it and I can shut it and it's still nice and hot. But when you remember to put the lid on this one, it stays hot too. The only difference is it has a lot of condensation on that lid when you pull it off. So be careful pulling it off because I am messy. Messy. I love the lid. I just wish oh, I could pull stuff off easier.